Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and in today's video we are making 10 of the utmost. The brand new amulet with 3.24 courtesy of creator 130 divines on the line here now what is the utmost let's walk through it the utmost is a brand new amulet that's made by combining four fragments now these fragments drop from uber bosses we got exarch here eater here uber uber elder and uber maven now you combine these fragments as it says by putting the four different curio fragments in a row We'll double check this <laughs> but you can see the rolls are quite wide it can be as much as 30 percent suppress five percent all maximum res 40 percent attack and cast speed and 20 percent pen this is like the venter's gamble of amulets now this thing could be crazy although one could argue that the perfect utmost is actually a zero stat utmost i i i'm i'm arguing it i'm arguing it but anyway so this is what we're trying to do we're trying to get as high and as good of rolls as we can across the board we have 10 sets 130 divines on the line i don't even know how much this thing could cost if we hit huge but we'll check them we'll check them anyway let us begin we'll start with the first one we'll see if this works boom it did not work was i baited does it go a different order hello <laughs> Hello? <laughs> How does this thing work? Absorption, and consumption, decay, and potential. I... Ah! We did it. I don't know what that order was. I'm going to have to watch that back. Boom! The first one. Suppression, 2% all res, 19%. So we're right in the mid. We're right in the mid. I, I got I to gotta find that combination again, though. All right. I fixed the order. Let's see if this works consistently. Boom. Okay, it does. That That is bizarre. Okay, anyway. Next one. Uh, we got... Sup oh, very similar. Suppress on the, and the max roll. Wow. Three out of the four rolls were the same. So this is just a better version. What the? What the? Next. Okay, 15% suppress. 15% suppress, 1% maximum all res, 35% on the attack and cast speed, but the damage pen rolls consistently rolling in single digits. Next one. We've got 24% suppress. I think we're, we're, we're kind of ramping. Plus one all res, 34% attack and cast speed, and 9%. This one's pretty solid. Next. Oh, baby. So we low rolled suppress, but we high rolled everything else. This one seems crazy. This is crazy. For the build that doesn't care about suppress, kind of crazy. Boom. Oh, what did we lose? We lost all res. We got a 0% all res roll, 15% suppress. Pretty, pretty solid, but bad all res. Next one. Oh, and this one, wait, it just disappeared. This one shows the zeros, but this one just disappeared. Okay. <laughs> no pen, no pen. This one... Solid, solid, bad, bad middle of the road one. Low roll and suppress. Oh, yo, but this one though, holy. This one is insane. 25% suppress, 3% all max res, 39% attack and cast speed, and 15% pen. That is ridiculous. Last one. And the last one is so-so. Okay, let me price check these. I'll bucket them. We'll do our best to see how we landed, and I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's take a look at the results. So we've got three buckets here, effectively. This is like the three to five divine bucket. These are like the mid rolls, the ones that are missing stats. Like it depends. Uh, but essentially, this is three to five divines. We're going to call it an average of four divines. So that's the majority here. This one here looked to be about 20 to 30 divines, give or take. Um, so you can see here, I mean, we hit a really high roll uh, on the basically the three bottom stats. The suppress was kind of the the the, the loser of the four of these. Um, I'm seeing about 25-ish divines on average, we'll call it. So let's call this maybe 50 divines for these uh, nine. And this one, the absolute juicer, is 25% suppress, 3% all max res, 39% one off uh, max roll on the attack and cast speed, and then a very high pen roll. So if we look at trade here, you can see there's a number of examples that are in this ballpark. So this is close, but ours is uh, a little bit better than this, not by too much, 3% uh, 
Uh, 3% on the Ellie res, I think minus one suppress and then 2%. It's close. Uh, I would say that this is in, in the ballpark here. Uh, I think we're probably talking like 50-ish, 50 to 70, we'll call it, based on what we're seeing here. This this one is worse, although it is a max roll on the suppress. Uh, you know, four or five mirrors, I, I doubt it. Uh, I, I would strongly doubt that. But uh, I think in the 50 divine range is, is about right for that one. So that puts us at the total of maybe 100 plus, you know, TBD. Uh, there could be a, a scenario where somebody is paying quite a lot for these. Keep in mind, they do come corrupted, so you cannot re-roll that rarity implicit. But uh, anyway, so um, yeah, this is a, a very, very interesting amulet. I think there's huge potential. 50 divines for this actually seems like a pretty reasonable price like uh you that's that's quite a bump it might be worth more than this to be honest because our rules are slightly better but anyway we'll be conservative so we'll call it we'll call it 100 to 120 how about that little range uh total but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this new item for this gamble for 3.24 and i will catch you all in the next one